Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today I'll be looking at committee documents. For the rest of the video I'll be going in great details as to the various types of committee documents and their features and following in subsequent videos I'll be showing you how we go about creating each type of committee documents. Let's start off by looking at what exactly are committee documents. Committee documents are documents used at a meeting. A meeting is said to be an event at which a group of people come together to discuss things or to make decisions. There are various documents that are used at a meeting and we call them the committee documents. And there are four types. We have notice of meeting, agenda, chairman's agenda, and minutes of meeting. Let's start off by looking at notice of meeting. A notice of a meeting is a document prepared by the secretary of an organization. It is sent in advance of the date of the meeting, not less than 14 days, to members concerned to enable them to make arrangements to attend, query any matter, and to suggest items to be, dis to be included on the agenda. Now, the notice may be combined with the agenda and prepared as one document. And that is how we would do it for the EDP and portfolio. Both notice and agenda must be combined and placed as one document in the portfolio. I'm going to attach a link at the top to show you that document as there's a video on that and you can watch it to get a better understanding. Now, there are various information that are needed to prepare a notice. When writing a notice, use who, what, when, where, and why as guides. The information that would be needed to prepare the notice and agenda of a meeting and to ensure that all persons concerned are notified is we need to ensure that we know the type of meeting that will be held, the day and date of the meeting, where the meeting will be held, the time of the meeting, and the topic to be discussed at the meeting. Now, what are the margins that are necessary for this type of document? We can use either A4 or A5 paper based on the length of the notice. Right? If it's very short, if it's a short notice, then we use the A5 paper in the landscape orientation with margins one inch for the top and bottom. For the left, we can either use 0 0.75 inches or one inch for the left and one for the right. Now, if it is that maybe this document will be combined with the agenda, then we use the A4 paper. And we can choose to use one inch all around or we can increase that margin on the left to 1.5. Now let's look at the agenda. An agenda is a list of items in the order in which they will be discussed at a meeting. This document is prepared by the secretary after consulting the chairperson and circulated well before the meeting so that members may study the items to be discussed. There are two types of agenda, namely the ordinary or member's agenda and that's the one that we will attach with the notice. And then there is the chairman's agenda that only the chairman will utilize. Now, the items on the ordinary agenda may be listed in the following order. We may have apologies for absence, minutes of last meeting, matters arising from the minutes, correspondence, reports, items to be discussed, any other business, and date and time of next meeting. This will all be followed by the secretary's signature. Now, not all agenda will have all these parts being a part of them, but if it is so, then this will be the order in which they will appear. The chairman's agenda. Now, this is a specially prepared agenda that contains details similar to the ordinary agenda that assist the chairman in conducting the meeting. There is a wide right-hand margin for the chairperson 
to write notes during the meeting. Let us now look at the margins for typing the agenda. It can be written on either A4 or A5 paper based on the length. If A5 paper is being used, that must be in the portrait orientation and we're able to use one inch all around. If we're using A4 paper, then we can have a top margin of one inch or 1.5 inches and the left, right and bottom margin at one inch. Now let's look at the final document, which is the minutes of a meeting. The minutes of a meeting is a brief and accurate record of the proceedings and discussions at a meeting. It is written in the past tense. Each item on the agenda that was discussed should be clearly seen using the same heading. Included in the minutes are names of persons attending the meeting, heading the minutes with the chairperson's name appearing first. The topics dealt with are recorded as they appear on the agenda and signed by the chairperson at the next meeting. The minutes of a meeting may be displayed in the blocked or indented style with paragraphs or shoulder heading in the body. Single line spacing is used with a double space between paragraphs. Now finally, let's look at the margins for typing minutes of a meeting. Now A5 paper cannot be used for this as it is very long and as such, only A4 paper is used. When A4 paper is being used, we can either use 1 or 1.5 inches for the top, 1 or 1.5 inches for the left, and 1 inch for both the right and the bottom margins. Now that's it for the video. Do hope that you learned something on committee documents. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also leave a comment below for me to know how this video assisted you with either teaching or learning. Thanks for watching and see you in my next upload.